guys, this is Bella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are discussing a recap of the Ace Fest or Ace Family Disneyland slash Coachella, but better apparently. So I had a lot of you guys actually message me recently talking about how you wanted to know my thoughts and give a good update regards to the Ace Fest because it finally happened. So a couple days ago, Ace Fest actually went down. The Ace Family hosted their type of carnival meet and greet event, where again, like I've talked about in a previous video it was heavily marketed off as a really exciting way to meet everyone have fun and it was just glorified to a different level so also you guys I did want to show as well and do a little bit of a recap and review these are the prices for the tickets and how much they were being sold at link for my previous video along with that this is how it was marketed off as so again this is what a lot of people were being told and then the list of what people should expect in regards to the event dropped and I'm not saying that's like a oh god you're a bad person for that I'm just saying that you still should be performing at your absolute best in regards to what you offer and if people are paying this much in tickets you should be providing a lot I mean a lot one thing there was also the general tickets which I believe were about $2.99 I think it was three tickets in total for general admission and that got you everything without the meet and greet and then when those weren't selling or when they claimed they sold out but they didn't actually sold out they decided that that was still not enough people or they just, again, we're not selling enough of the bundle tickets. So they decided to start doing the individual tickets. So one ticket for GA and one ticket for VIP. I believe the individual VIP tickets sold out pretty quickly after that as well. The individual VIP tickets were like 150 ish I think, but I bought my tickets like the moment they went on sale. Just as I thought it was gonna be an absolute scam and what so many other people thought it was a scam, uh, it definitely was a scam for sure. Sloan actually on his channel was discussing what the definition of a scam is and I honestly thought that was a very important thing to bring up. So again, inspired by Sloan, I wanted to bring this up as well. Uh, in regards to a scam, for me, it is something that literally can make you lose money. Something that is marketed off as one thing and you're not getting that. That to me is a scam. False advertising advertising, losing something when you shouldn't have lost something. You see what I'm saying? To me, that is a scam. And so when we look at the Ace family, there's a lot of things that I think are pointing out as a scam and also are just really freaking weird. So we're going to dive into all that today. Along with, we're going to be talking about how the Ace family responded to everything and the backlash that they got from the Ace Fest. We'll be reacting to that at the end. So let's actually hop into it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get going. My hormones are acting up so bad. I have PCOS, so I'm like breaking out and I'm like, fuck that. We're we're gonna, we're gonna film, we're gonna still do this. So let's dive in. So on the day of the actual Ace Fest, again, a lot of people actually flew in from what I could see to come and go to the Ace Fest. Some people who were located in California actually traveled to go. Nonetheless, most of the people that we could average probably spend a decent amount of money in regards to travel, simply being able to park at the event. So let's say that you were someone that lived in California and you drove, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, maybe you drove an hour with traffic or even more, probably more, but you drove a decent amount. That's a decent amount of gas, okay. Ace Family, I don't believe, disclosed that there was parking costs, which I think is a very a big problem right out the gates. The fact that she would be surprised with a parking cost, I think, is very weird. And they would like to probably budget a little bit more. So to me, that's really irresponsible, especially when you have a family demographic, per se. And those people probably would be needing to save more money. And the fact that you're not at least disclosing, hi, these are the costs for some of the things at this event. This is what you could be looking at, just so people could feel a little bit more secure with how much they're spending. Yeah, I don't know. That's just really irritating me. Going into the event. So it honestly looks like a very regular ass carnival. Like I <laughs> experiencing major secondhand embarrassment because of what I saw. Like I'm going to be honest, I thought it was going to be shit, but I didn't realize how bad it actually was going to be. This went exceeded my expectations in regards to bullshit. Like literally the turnout in regards to the entire event was so minimal, first of all. So not a lot of people actually went, even though they were saying, oh, 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 this is a sold out event and everything. Either it was sold out and there wasn't that many tickets or it wasn't sold out and they made some shit up. Either way, the turnout was not very big whatsoever. So in regards to the entire setup, it was again, a carnival, but it was super dead. Like for example, look at some of these creators and people who actually went to the event and filmed it. Like just, just watch this. All right guys, let me break it down. So we went inside and we got a pretzel for Ace Fest. We saw the line. I got to see all the little kiddos and grandpa. They were so cute. Elle was not having it today, but Steely looks so adorable here. And then grandpa took pictures with us, showed all the people that were in line. Here me waiting inside for Ace Family. 
got to have a video, a screen record of the Ace family meeting them. I was bawling my eyes up, but they were the sweetest. Honestly, it blows my mind how a local fair in one of my old small towns that I used to live in, uh, they had a bigger turnout than this. What? I how, how are you proud of that? <laughs> like, I don't understand how this is in any way like an exciting event for people. Catherine and Austin and their children showed up and we're gonna start the meet and greet, I think at about noon. And so they started at the meet and greet as well, which was originally outside. I'm gonna be honest, with the weather conditions, that should have never started up outside. I'm sorry, but what in the fuck makes you think that people standing in line in the hot sun for you when you don't automatically offer like free water shade and stuff like that is a good idea that's never that should be inside anyways they finally moved inside and that was going on until about 8 p.m and if you actually look at some of the photos of it they claimed right here that they probably met about quote unquote 10,000 people and i'm gonna be honest hell no there's no way that that is 10,000 people that were waiting or even let's say that there was a, like maybe 5,000 people or it looked i mean other people were estimating that was probably around two, maybe 3,000 that were in that building. And let's say the rest of them were out on like on the carnival rides. That area would have been packed. Like the parking lot would have been filled. The entire carnival would have been packed. I, what an absolute fucking shit show. Other thing that really irked me with this is they, again, like I thought that they would do, they brought their children with them. And I do not like that. I get they have some security. I get that they're doing that, but I don't understand what is the point of bringing your kids to something like this when your kids are around a bunch of totally different strangers that know your name. Like, I mean, think about how confusing that must be as a, I don't know, maybe a three-year-old per se that has all these people that automatically know their name. Like, I don't think those kids are properly understanding stranger danger even. I don't think that they're always in a safe environment and there's no need for kids to be on display for a meet and greet or even in that vicinity. Like, those kids should have been at home in a comfortable area and a babysitter. That really, really bothers me and it's, I feel like it's gonna hit a point where it's gonna make one of those kids really uncomfortable with with people that just come up to them. Like, that will just always rub me wrong. But anyways, okay, so this was an event that happened for several hours, and so other people were going to test out some of the rides. There was a lot of things where you can get, like, food, you can play games. Like, at the beginning, I said you could apparently play free. So all the games, like the regular carnival games, however, when you actually won or won a prize, you would have to go get and buy tickets to give in exchange for that. So it wasn't free. So right there, the false advertising, in my opinion, that that's a scam. If you do want to play a game, it's free, but if you do win a prize, you have to uh, exchange your ticket. So they gave me like one ticket. And that was only good for the fucking lanyard. So I was like, nah, I don't want the lanyard. I'm just gonna get my ticket. How can you not call that a scam when you say it's free, but then in order to actually win the prizes, it's not. And also I think that's highly misleading. Why wouldn't you go out of your way, if anything, to make that statement and say, hey, maybe bring a little cash extra because this is what's happening. Like, at the end of the day, there was actually several people uh, I could see that were actually interviewed with this and they were pretty much just disappointed with the whole situation. There was another content creator that was actually trying to stop people and just say, hey, can I interview you real quickly? And they were asking about how they felt about the event and some people were actually really disappointed with it. It's supposed to be more. You <laughs> were? Yeah. Aww. But I, I, I like it. I approve. Do you feel like it was worth your money? No, no. It's like a carnival, I guess. Just you, a normal carnival. <laughs> do you feel like you got your money's worth? No. Not as busy as I thought it would be. Do you feel like you got your money's worth for the event? No. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, the line's a bit long, a bit hot, but uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. Do you feel like you got your money's worth from being at this event? Uh, sort of. Um, not as many rides as we expected and stuff like that. I mean, we came with like family, so. Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. And it just honestly made me very sad because yeah, absolutely. The way that this was marketed off, it was marketed off in a way that looked like it was a huge event. Like something again that you would expect in California, a massive carnival, a huge event. And because of the marketing of other previous Ace Family events, get a lot of people were like expecting something grand and it wasn't. The complete false representation of how many 
many people are actually there. And the over glorification of it was just letting a lot of people down to the point where allegedly the Ace family started actually deleting comments off of the video that they posted in response to all this because they didn't want to do what the backlash it looked like. For example, one of their previous most recent videos, I've never seen Catherine in this much pain, dislocated back, that one, they got allowed about 1,728 comments. Um, let's look at this other one. It's about um, their youngest's birthday. They got around 2,146. So they get in the thousands in regards to comments. The Ace Face video, which was posted up on July 11th, we have about 244 comments. And what's so funny is a comment that I literally just saw, actually, I don't think I have it up still. A comment that I just saw was at over almost 4,000 likes that was actually saying, oh yes, this whole situation brought us to tears, dot, dot, dot. I can't wait to get my refund. So they're also completely like gatekeeping the legit reviews of this. And here's my other perspective on this that I just, it really pisses me off. If you're going to try and redeem yourself, if you're going to try and be a better person and provide for more for your fans, as the Ace family has kind of alluded to, you would want to be on your game with this type of project. So for example, with this carnival, they marketed it off as Coachella and Disneyland, but they said Coachella because originally they said, you know, live performers and there wasn't any live performers. Okay, already bullshit. Why is it that they aren't providing what they say they're going to provide? And if they weren't going to have like live performers, at least make this entire carnival experience insane. And I also would like to remind some people that Disneyland has it to where every inch of what they have is customized to a T or made to where the entire experience is honestly very amazing. I went to Disneyland a long, a long time ago. So my memory is pretty good for the years. But from what I remember, Disneyland even catered the scents per different areas of the park, like the food, how much um, in details and customization for the items that you could shop at. Like Disneyland goes all out. Now I'm not saying that the Ace family has Disney budget. All I'm saying is if you're gonna charge a shit ton of money for tickets, you need to be customizing this event. But they did it. Instead, to me, this is giving very much cash grab. So I wanted to hop on here and point out another topic that I don't think many creators are discussing in regards to this Ace Fest. Um, one thing I really want to just kind of state, and I will fully believe this, not only for myself, but for other creators, including the Ace family, is when you screw up that bad in regards to other things and you have scam people, if you want to redeem yourself or do better, in regards to hosting events, if you are going to host one again, my personal belief is you should not be thinking about profit. If you, if anything, break even, but host a really good event to give back to the people that support you, I think that's exactly what should happen. I don't think there should be any thought process in regards to making a profit on it, considering the fact that the Ace family has, in my opinion, scammed a lot of people with multiple different experiences, events, and purchases. Now, one thing that I also would like to mention is this event could have been better, but it also could have benefited them more. Think about it this way. These events can be essentially tax write-offs for a lot of these content creators. Now, what I'm getting at is, is they could have gone all out because I'm sure with the amount of money that they're making, I'm sure the tax write-offs would be very beneficial for them. They could have literally gone all out with the customization process and making this event insanely good, not profited, but still had benefits from it. Like they literally could have come out of this in the best way, proven anyone run everyone wrong and tried to start over. But the fact that they know they have these options and choose, in my opinion, to not go the ethical route, to not profit off of this event, but do it the cheapest way possible, in my opinion, not make it unique for their subscribers. Anything truly shows their ethics. And again, just for further clarification, I am in no way hating on other content creators who host events and make a profit off of it. Again, if you are doing things ethically, make your money. Not a big deal at all. And if you put that work in, you have every right to make money. What I'm saying is if you keep screwing people over and if you want to host a, a redeemable event, focus should not be on profit. It should be on the people giving back and pretty much helping build your reputation back and being a better person. Like, I feel so bad for the people who did go. And I know some people are going to say, oh, well, I mean, they've been scamming for so long. Like, I don't feel bad for them. I do because there's kids involved and there's other maybe parents that probably bought tickets as well. And many of us probably have been misled by other individuals or content creators before. And it's really disappointing and you feel bad and uncomfortable 
for supporting them for so long. And I feel like some people are getting hit a little bit more in regards to this situation because they're kind of starting to wake up and realize that this isn't really good. On top of this, I would like to also state how the Ace family, in my opinion, is fucking stupid. Why? Because they're literally digging themselves into a bigger hole. I do not think that the Ace family is in any position to keep doing this, honestly. And I feel like the more that this keeps happening, the less that are going to be supportive in regards to people and the money that they're going to make. Like, again, who's going to really want to go all out and attend an Ace Fest event like this, especially with how this one went? It doesn't look good. It does not look good. And I feel like there's going to be slowly less people that are going to be attending these events because also the Ace family is not growing as much as they used to in regards to YouTube or anything for that matter. So I do feel like certain things in regards to events being attended, numbers dropping, that's going to keep going. So for example, I did want to kind of, and again, I know they're still going to make money. I know they're still going to do harmful things, but I think it's good to kind of pay attention to some of their monthly subscriber gain or loss, for example. For example, we see like a 100,000 subscriber drop from the East family of December of 2021. It was really stagnant. They didn't really gain or lose too much. It kind of balanced out, it looks like. But then now in June, a loss of 100,000 subscribers. And then uh, we don't exactly have the numbers in regards to July, but all I'm going to say is I feel like after this too, there is going to be another drop in regards to subscribers. Now, again, like I said, people are going to still talk about them. They are going to make a lot of money, but this does in a way negatively impact them and really does damage their reputation further. We had some content creators that wanted to attend the Ace Fest, like they bought a ticket, they flew out. They are people who report on these types of channels and they wanted to go inside and film the experience. Well, the Ace family's videographers allegedly and security kicked these people out and were filming them and essentially harassing them and trying to egg them on to say something. Like, that is so rude and disrespectful. I don't understand why that would even be happening. Rich Flux and Mad Catster tried to get in and they were kicked out. That's a whole different story. said so by me. Those ace haters out there, you guys know who they are, who said this was a fake event, it wasn't real, it wasn't happening, Did we showed them. So and all you guys, thank you again. One last thing real quick for my video. I'm not gonna sit here and cuss because we got little children here, but one thing I do want to say, all of us together, we're gonna say F you, okay? Oh yeah, all. We're gonna start, hold on, we're gonna start a chant, at least for like 10 seconds of my video. Can we do that? Are you ready? One, two, three. I think you would go out of your way to try and be the best that you could and if you're not doing anything wrong in regards to this and you've made money off of their ticket why are you kicking them out and I have heard, I haven't heard that they've gotten refunds at, at all but all I'm saying is that's very rude and that's something I will always think about like if you're not doing anything wrong and if you're not concerned and if you have a good argument to back yourself up why are you so uncomfortable concerned with the fact that somebody is trying to get in, into an event that you're hosting like that makes no sense to me also, you guys I did see that some of the prizes for the games were old Ace Family merch that wasn't like that used to be sold but wasn't available. So like uh, trying to get rid of extra stock, right? And so it was just cheap shit in my opinion. There was no real customization with this. There was nothing special. It just sounded so disrespectful of people and how much they care for you. Like I can't even imagine sitting there and just ripping off people in regards to money, not performing as best as you could with the event and still wanting people to support you and looking at these people in the face as they come to say, hello to you and be proud of that. But then also to further the childish behavior, so allegedly one of Austin McBroom's opponents for boxing, his face was on some of the game's balloons, like the dart throwing, like where you throw a dart, pop the balloon, ta-da, that shit. I don't understand why anyone would do that, but that, that screams Austin's behavior because like he is that insecure that he has to put an opponent's face on balloons for children to throw darts at. Like, dude, come on. On. It's just the whole thing was an entire mess. And again, a lot of people are were just pissed off about it. There was a lot of backlash. And again, like I said, we have seen some drops in regards to maybe subscribers. We have seen comments that are allegedly being deleted. Again, when my videos get literally around that many in regards to comments, they, they should be at that number. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to actually pull up the actual Ace Family video because I wanted to kind of react to the last bit of what Catherine and Austin were saying in regards to the entire event. 
event. So let's watch that. Good morning, Ace family. As you can see, it's the next day. We just want to take a moment to thank all of you beautiful Ace family members again for coming through and showing so much love and support. We cannot thank you guys enough. All of our hearts, we truly, truly are very <laughs> thankful for all of you guys. I just want to say that leading up to the event, obviously we you know started planning this months ago and we live in a time where people aren't really doing events like these if not ever i feel like we're living in a time where people don't want to leave their homes people are afraid um there's you know terrible things happening on the news and you know things that are being shared okay i know i previously talked about how i felt a little bit more kind to Catherine due to her living with this fucking idiot. But I'm gonna be honest, I really, I'm not feeling any sort, nothing. I'm very irritated with this response here because to me, this is a very privileged response. This is, oh, I know people are uncomfortable. I know, but what the fuck are we doing hosting an event like that then? Or so, like, what is, what are you getting at here? My thought process is, so are you trying to allude to that's why like there was not as big of a turnout? Was that's why people didn't get, uh. For example, people love Harry Styles, right? Love them. Some people, would literally go nuts to get to see that man, right? Now, I'm not saying they're any near, we're close to that, but I'm saying when you have diehard fans, there's some people that are gonna go out of their way to see you, support you, and everything. So I'm sorry, but I feel like this is either a way of trying to give the idea that, well, that's why not many people came or whatever. And also, it's very interesting because if that's the route that they're taking, why did they market it off as like the tickets were completely sold out? Because if so, and if it was sold out, then you only sold maybe a couple thousand, not around 10K or whatever. Their story is never consistent is what I'm saying. And again, if that is the case then, and if you know that, why are you hosting events and expensive events at that? Do other shit that's good for your subscribers. Things that are being shared across the world every week. Um, there was just something that happened a couple of days ago. I don't know. Also, I'm just curious about this. And again, like I'm, I'm not trying to be like nitpicky, but I'm genuinely wondering what people think about this. I've always wondered when Catherine's talking about something more quote unquote serious, how Austin's like body language is very interesting. Like he, he'll look off or he'll look very like very serious. And I don't like just, it's very interesting to me how he handles this kind of stuff. It's it's very different to me. I, you would think that again, if you're proud of this, you're not concerned. You would be honestly hyped. You'd want to be engaging with the camera. Now I, I get it if like you're awkward or you look to the side. Fuck, I do that too. This isn't giving me very excited and I'm proud of what I did vibes, you know what I mean? I just feel like I'm so grateful for every single person who came to our event who had such amazing energy. Everyone was talking about how the room just felt, the pavilion where we had all the people come in later on because it was getting really hot. We had another like indoor area to meet um, you guys, but then we'd switched it to the pavilion which made it much better and everyone was saying in that pavilion you could just feel the energy, like people were just so real and just so, excited and just like just so much light and i'm just so grateful for every single one of you for coming out i know it takes a lot to come out um also like we're living in a time where people don't have extra money to spend on you know then riddle me this what the fuck are you doing charging that much for a meet and greet essentially with a carnival that any any person could put on essentially i'm like my thing is, is if you're gonna charge that much make it worth every fucking penny make it to where somebody looks at it like yeah i'd spend that much money again because you need to provide the value with something something can be very expensive and people could truly see the value in that and want to keep on buying it or participate if you're going to go that hard in regards to how much you're charging make it worth it if not, drop the price significantly so people don't feel like a bothered. And it really irks me too, because why is it that you're like, we know not a lot of people can spend so much money. Okay, then why is it, why is it that expensive? Or why is it that expensive and the value isn't there? Use it, holy shit. Event and go and meet someone that you've been watching for years, someone that you, you know, love, your role model, whatever you want to call it. But I just want to say thank you to every single person who came out. Also, like it happens every single year after every big milestone, after every single event, there's always a downside to it. Obviously, there's more eyes on us, so there's negativity. Anyone wanna tell us as why you think there's so much shit that follows you? <laughs> on us so there's negativity that comes with it and we're so used to it i mean like this is something that like we just we know comes with it 
one thing. Here's a, here's a conversation I want to have. As a content creator of any kind, when you start getting a following, you are going to have people that just fucking hate you. And there's some people that are like, literally will hate you for no reason. And th that's true. And he, like, there could be people, for example, that could hate on the nicest content creators just cause. That That is the world that we live in. And that sucks. However, there's a difference between unreasonable nitpicking hate and then actual criticizing of stuff that's a problem. This is an example of that. If you're getting unrealistic hate, understand. That's not necessary. This, this is necessary. Again, it's very bothering to me how even Austin, one point in the previous video that I showed, vocalized how his subscribers got scammed by something that they were selling to their subscribers and their response was not very good. And they still are like, oh my God, why do people not trust us? Because you keep doing it again. It's one thing if you fucked up and you respond and you go out of your way to change it because not everyone's perfect and things happen, absolutely. It's about your response and how you handle it, not how you keep doing the same shit over and over and over again. And this is where we're ending up at. So, oh, well, we're so used to it. We're so used to it. A lot of people are calling you out because you keep manipulating, in my opinion, and scamming your younger audiences. That is not appropriate. I, I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. That I did learn throughout the years is the bigger your light, the more darkness you're surrounded by. And one can't exist without the other. So it's always coexisting. And so I feel like just knowing that and like being so aware of that, I think that that's brought me so much joy, but I just want to share it with you guys. And if you didn't get a chance to make it to Ace, So is that like a way of saying, hey, if you see the hate, it's fine. Like we're good people. So it's normal, which okay, you could be the best content creator, the best person out there, but there are going to be some people that are just fucking crazy and will hate you. That That is the reality. But again, on the flip side, there could be people that are actually critically calling you out for some shit, which makes sense. This one is what I think is they're, they're actually representing the most. So it bothers me how they know so well how their subscribers will respond in regards to like how many of them are very easily manipulated or naive to these issues. And so by them just saying this, like they know that they have a lot of people's trust, but at the end of the day, they're also damaging other people are starting to actually become aware of the scamming that is going on with this, in my opinion. Yes, we may have another one in the future. Or we'll see you July 30th in LA at Staples Center for the fight. Stay tuned. So like me and my beautiful queen always say, we'll be back with, with more, more videos. videos. We love you guys. Peace. So what did we learn today, everyone? Ace family did not disappoint in regards to proving us right. There you go. But in every other aspect, they have disappointed many people. This is just gross and disappointing and I'm really sick and tired of this shit. So Catherine said how there could possibly be another one in the future, which there probably will be, because even with their failures and other problems in regards to their previous basketball events, they still host them. So honestly, there's probably gonna be another one or another thing like this, and it's probably gonna be just as bad. So I don't really have a lot a lot of hope in regards to their growth and progress. So who knows? But that was it for today's video, you guys. Um, comment down below what you guys thought about this entire situation. Any other theories that you have in regards to this event, I would love to hear. But that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.